Right side's low. How about now? Still low. Now? Low. Now? Now it's way too high. Is there something you need, Dad? Yeah, when's that? Wait a minute. What does that sign say? Well, take it slow. Sound it out. I can read it, smart guy. But we don't rent movies. Well, we didn't rent movies. We do now. No, we don't. Take that down. This isn't a movie house. It's a gas station. And convenience store. Nowhere else in town rents movies. Folks got to drive all the way into Woolerton. If they want to rent a video, it's not very convenient. This will just confuse people. They won't know if this is a gas station or a drive-in theater. What, are you in the show business now? The gas business not good enough for you? You got to be Ed Sullivan? We got a great shoe. We got a really big shoe. What the hell are you thinking? So what's the game? Oh, here he comes. Watch. More bounce checks? Cheap sons of... Who is it? Peter Parker. Who's that? Is he from town here? And who's this... Gene Luck Pikert. I think that's Jean-Luc Picard. <sighs> what a handle. Marge Simpson? That sounds familiar. Mm. She's bounced checks here before, I think. That's it. Don't take checks from Marge Simpson or that French guy. <laughs> this is fun for you. He's still trying to track down Arthur Fonzarelli. Nice. Next time you just throw a snake at me. I need your help. With what? Not here. This is on the hush hush. So that's what we gotta do. We gotta nail this guy. You gotta help me come up with some kind of plan. You're a shifty kind of weasel type. No offense. Nerve of that jackass. I'm not being cheated out of my money by some slick talking pencil neck government jerk. I can hear you. Well, you sneak. Mind your own business! Hank! I'm licorice? I know I shouldn't, but I can't resist. <laughs> well, you had impulse items when you ran the place. Sure, you can trick a kid. Kids are stupid. Well, your days of outwitting seven-year-olds are over. Thankfully, now it's illegal for kids to smoke. What? Since when? Is it illegal for kids to smoke? What am I, a lawyer? Anonymous gambling hotline. And my name is, uh, Oscar Leroy, L-E- That's all right, sir. We don't use last names. What are you talking about, you don't use last names? This is the anonymous gambling hotline. I know who you are. I'm the one who called you. Uh, you can just make up a name if you'd like. Well, that's a sloppy way to... Who am I talking to? Uh, my name is Brad. Brad who? We don't use... Don't use last names. I get it, jackass. You know what? Maybe I'll take my business elsewhere. <laughs> you just lost a customer, smart guy. Who is that? Brad. When a funny story happens to me, I keep my trap shut and file it here so only I can enjoy it. I got some funny ones, I tell you. <laughs> You're my hero. Let's just go. We're going to be late. Oh, that's right. It's almost shut up o'clock. <laughs> On the lid. When people see me lying in this baby, they'll say, that guy's a craftsman. This guy was a craftsman. See the interior? Great lumbar support. <laughs> it's going to be something. Yeah. But you'll be dead. I know. I can't wait. Dad, this is Muffin Tray, or Marvin Dre. He's one of many tax men. Good morning, Mr. Leroy. I'm just here to look into some minor discrepancy on your commercial tax exemption. Discrepancy? What are you talking about? I file my taxes every year. My taxes pay your damn salary, so you can just turn around and go back where you came from. There, I'm glad that's settled. It's really not a big deal, Mr. Leroy. Last year you claimed what appears to be an unusually high fuel tax exemption. I just need to examine your record. I file my taxes every year. I pay your salary. He's starting to drift on us. So you say you just need to see the sales receipts from last year, right? That's all. 
Dad, any idea where those might be? My taxes pay for that suit you're wearing, buddy boy. Yeah, we lost them. See? This is what I'm talking about. Hostility for no reason. Well, it's not just you. Dad's cranky. I saw him one time yell at a butterfly. Called it a son of a bitch. Told it to get out of his garden. Why'd you come in person? You ever hear of a telephone? It's a handy invention. I'll show you how it works sometime. We did call. You did not. What did you call me on the phone for? My taxes paid for this call. You got something to say, you come here and say it in person. Get in the car. You ever hear of a car? It's a handy invention. I'll show you how it works sometime. Who is that? I don't know. Some jackass. You're a lion. I don't know. His story does kind of reek of the truth. Oh, sure. There you go. Take his side, old buddy buddy with the tax man. A tax man. I'm a tax man. Oh, okay. How about we say that's enough for right now? You go relax. Go have a piece of pie or something. Okay. Hostility for no reason. Geez, he's a bit of a delicate thing, ain't he? Why don't you go hold his hand for him? Hello, Brent here. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you click that subscribe button and don't forget to click the little bell notification too. That way you'll always be alerted whenever we're posting a new video. All right then.